So looking into our pot here, I must say, this is a treasure indeed. So today we have here some beef, some pigtail, and cow heel, the star of the pot. So now what we are going to do is we're going to have all these lovely, tasteful ingredients washed, seasoned, and ready for the soup. So now that we have finished washing the meats, we use lime, flour, and vinegar. And now we are about to make the green seasoning to go on the meat. So here we have some sive, garlic, pimento, or flavor pepper, celery, onion. We have some shadow benny, also known as bandania, cilantro, or in Tobago as fitweed. So now we are going to move to the blender. So we're just going to add a little bit of each at a time. And to this, we are going to add some water. Not too much, just enough that we are going to get a good blend. We are going to seal this and blend away. We will be right back after blending to show you the next step. So we have finished blending all of our ingredients and this is the end result. So this is our seasoning here and we're going to put it into each of our meats. Into each of our meats. So here we have the beef and our cow heel and our pigtail. To these meats we won't be adding any salt because this is salt pigtail. We're going to leave this here now. We're going to put it inside of the freezer, the refrigerator, sorry. And we're going to let it sit for 30 minutes before we have it going on the pot. Now we are going to get the split peas prepared for the soup. So as you can see here, our split peas or yellow peas is now at the consistency that it is required to be at. So, we are now going to transfer this to a bigger pot to have this soup bubbling. So, it has now been transferred to a bigger pot and we are going to add water which is going to form the soup, the base of the soup. And to this, we are going to add our provisions. So these are the ground provisions. We have here Irish potato, dasheen, sweet potato, pumpkin, carrot, and pumpkin again. This is grated pumpkin. This pumpkin is going to enter in the pot when it's at its sorry when it's at its last stages so we're going to just put this aside for now but we're going to add this pumpkin maybe midway in the soup so we're going to the pot now so i've already added all the provision to the pot and now we're just gonna bring this to a boil to cook all the provision and then we're going to continue on to the next step now this is also going to be added to the soup so we boil the banana separate green fig in tobago some call it banana we're going to boil it separate peel it and then add it to the soup at the last stages because we don't want it to be crumbled now that everything is boiling on the stove we are going to make our dumpling now to make our dumpling, all we need is all-purpose flour. I have one cup all-purpose flour and 
half teaspoon salt. I'm going to add that and just mix it up. To this now, we are going to add water. Now you don't want to put too much water. You're just adding water to form a dough ball, a firm dough ball, not too soft. A little bit more and then we'll start to knead the dough. So now we're gonna just form a ball and set it here until we are ready for the dumplings to enter the pot. So the dumpling is now being prepared to go into the pot. I'm making my worm now. Now what they don't laugh me worm eh? I ain't really good at craft that much sometimes. <laughs> so now we have our worm. We're just gonna cut our worm into small pieces, small tiny pieces. I'm gonna try my best, my very best, to keep it all the same size so that it can look a bit uniform in the pot. The worm I do I like my dumplings small. I don't like them too big. Some people like the long ones, but I don't like, I like them bite size. So when you pick up your dumpling in your spoon, it, tend to, it could fit in your mouth comfortably. So I'm just going to make some more worms and then we're going to add these to the pot. So now we're just adding the dumplings to the pot. Very simple, just add the dumplings in now so that they can cook and we'll be back. You need to check the pressure cooker so that you can know if any of the meats have finished cooking. So the beef has finished and the pigtail has finished so we are now adding those to the pot. The cow heel is still in the pot. Finishing it, softening process. So we're gonna add these in. And people, this soup is thick right now, but I'm gonna add more water to it. Cause we like this soup a bit, a bit thick, not too thick, but thick. So we're just gonna let this simmer at low heat, and then we're gonna add the cow heel. With the remaining of sauce in the pot along with the bananas before adding the other stuff though we are going to put in we are going to now incorporate our diced pumpkins as well as our grated pumpkin this is going to bring a lot of color as well as flavor to our soup I'm going to just let that melt out and bring it to a nice consistency. At this point, I'm going to add some water. And then I'm going to transfer it to a bigger pot. Seeing that this pot is already filled to the brim. So the soup isn't complete without these final touches to the pot. So we're going to be right back with the final touches, guys. So you remember those bananas we had boiling it? In the pot well they have been completed and now we're adding it to our soup I'm gonna stir that in you see how white they are no residue no dark residue left on them I'm gonna add those to the pot and our last touches now our aromatics so we have pimento we have sweet pepper we have celery Five shadow benny and 
it's not complete without some fresh thyme guys that thyme the spices and the aroma that comes out of that thyme brings all the flavors in this pot together all the flavors marry in this pot and the result is oh my god mouth watering guys if you can only smell what is going on in this kitchen right now beautiful so now we are going to taste for salt and we are going to season it up and so far the salt is great so now we are going to add three last thing four last ingredients sorry to this soup so today our choice of the day soup it up is the jamaican cock soup mix with pumpkin so we're gonna add a pack of this to our soup sorry if you're here in the wind guys it's a bit a bit windy where i am then we are going to add the Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning not too much of that a little bit goes a long way guys we're also going to put the Goya the perfect seasoning remember a little bit goes a long way my little bit might be a bit eh? just saying <laughs> And the final ingredient, our salt butter. This is golden ray I'm using today. And we're gonna stir that up. Give it a good stir. Normally I will also include a nice hot pepper in there, but I didn't have any today. So this brings us to our ending of our video so next we'll be back with our soup plated and ready to eat okay guys so this brings us to the end of our video and this is our end result let's taste Oh my god delicious guys you need to try this recipe it is amazing tasty flavorful mouth watering mm. Mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. all the right flavors for everybody so guys like share subscribe press the bell so that you can see next time I'm uploading Love you guys. Bye.